welcome back to my channel on today's video we're going to be looking at cape econ's past paper question for 2014 unit 1 paper 2. so question one reads the ideological nation of utopia devotes all its resources land labor capital and entrepreneurship to producing food and clothing a part one asks us to define the term scarcity for two marks and we know what scarcity is scarcity is when we have unlimited ones or our infinite ones being greater than our limited resources which are finite so once you have the two components you should get your two marks for part two they are asking us to draw and label a graph of the ppf for utopia so notice I have my axis drawn, so we just have to label it. So I'm going to put for my X axis, I'm going to put clothing or quantity of clothing and vertical axis will be the quantity of food. And then we're going to draw our concave to the origin. We're going to call this PPF1 and you can label it figure one PPF for utopia that should give you your three marks for part three they're asking us to use the PPF from a part two above to explain how a the concept of opportunity cost is related to the problem of scarcity all points as we know along the PPF are efficient so let's assume in Utopia they are at a point such as A. Producing C1 units of clothing and F1 units of food. And let's assume they want to increase their production of clothing to a point such as C2. If they want to do that, it will take us to a point such as D, which is unattainable unless we give up some units of food, right? Because this is at a point outside of the boundary. So this is unattainable. So it means we'll have to make a choice. So do we want to have C2 units or do we want to remain at C1? If we want to produce at C2 units that increase, it means we must give up some food. That will take us to a point such as F2. So in order to get an increase from C1 to C2 units of clothing, it means we must give up F1 to F2 units of food. And what we give up, this sacrifice made here is the opportunity cost of increasing production of clothing to C2 units. Again, the opportunity cost is illustrated by the negative shape of the PPF curve. Okay, so for part B, they're asking us how economic growth can be achieved in Utopia. And that can be illustrated by a rightward shift of the PPF. So I'm going to draw this one in red so you can see it better. So we're going to call this one PPF2. Notice there's a rightward shift. And let's assume we are now at a point such as here. We can call this F. Notice at such a point, we can get more units of food from the original point. We can call this F3. And we can also get more units of clothing. We can call this one C3. So notice, with economic growth, we can get more clothing and we can also get more food. And we're able to get this because we can have, let's say, an increase in technology, um, an increase in the quality of the labor force, a resource boom. All these things will allow our PPF curve to shift rightwards and we're able to now get more combinations in terms of 
more clothing and more food more than the original boundary would permit us for b part one they're asking us to state two differences between a command economy and a free market economy for four marks i'm going to give you a few and you can choose which two you would like to use so we can look at ownership of resources so in the command economy, the state will own all the resources, whereas in the free market economy, private individuals and firms will own the resources. We can look at it in terms of decisions being made. In the command economy, decisions are made by the government or the state, whereas in the free market, decisions are made by households and firms who act in their own self-interest. We can look at it in terms of aims so for the command economy we're all about social welfare whereas in the free market economy profit maximization is the aim and of course we can look at it in terms of prices in the command economy prices are set by the government or the state whereas in the free market prices are set by market forces of demand and supply the last section of this question, B part 2, is asking, given the disadvantages of a centrally planned economy, to discuss two possible economic reasons for the downfall of this type of economic system over the last three decades. And that's for eight marks. So I'm going to give you four reasons and you can choose two. So the four would be failure to coordinate, failure of quality control, misplaced incentives and environmental degradation. So I'll explain each one. So failure to coordinate. In command economies, the state tries to coordinate all economic decisions throughout the country. This proved to be an impossible task with any measure of efficiency. And this resulted in a lot of bottlenecks and production shortages of some goods and you would have like gluts in other goods. We look at failure of quality control now. So in command economies, the state could have controlled what goods were to be produced and in what quantities, but it was difficult for them to monitor the quality of these goods. And this resulted in factories just trying to meet the quotas and they're not being concerned about the quality of the goods being produced. So you'd find that we had a lot of poor quality goods in that system. Then we would have the misplaced incentives so the workers in the command economies were known to have job security. While this may have been attractive to some workers, it didn't provide the kind of incentive needed for persons to work reasonably hard and efficient. So persons had jobs and they work, but not necessarily give their best effort. Environmental degradation. Production in command economies focused on fulfilling the directives or the plans of the state to the exclusion of other considerations such as the environment. The failure to protect the environment occurred mainly to fulfill the government's plans and the lack of citizens' views on how best to use the scarce resources while conserving the environment. I am Ms. Lushu. If you like this video, you can like, share, and subscribe. Remember to hit the notification bell.